Hi, this is Greg Gimeno, attorney from Chesapeake Wills and Trust and author of the book, How to Protect Your Home and Life Savings in Maryland. In our last video, we talked about three things that a will will do for you. Now let's talk about three things that a will will not do. Thing number one, a will will not protect your assets should you go into a nursing home. We talk about estate planning as a two-act play. Act number one of the play is what happens if you're alive but disabled, and act number two is what happens to your stuff after your death. A will only handles act two, which is what happens to your stuff after your death. Should you have to go into a nursing home and spend down your assets in order to qualify for Medicaid, a will does not help to plan for those things. A will only distributes your stuff after your death and provides no asset protection during the course of your lifetime. Number two, a will does not allow anyone to have access to your stuff while you are alive. So, let's say you are disabled, you've had a stroke, you're in a nursing home. Just because someone is listed in your will, or has a, even as a beneficiary designation on one of your accounts, does not allow someone to have access to your bank accounts in order to pay your bills. Not even your medical bills, not your nursing home bills, nothing. Your kids or other people can't take your will to the bank and say, let me have access to mom's account while she's alive, but disabled, because I am listed in the will. It doesn't work that way. Again, all a will does is distribute your stuff after your death. It gives no one the entitlement to be able to access your funds while you are alive. How can we have someone access those things? Well, through proper powers of attorney or trust documents that are properly put in place. Can we allow someone to have access to your stuff during your lifetime? But, for, but a will is not helpful in that regard. Number three, a will does not override your beneficiary designations. And this is a big thing that we talk to people about, not just what's in your will or your estate plan or your trust plan, but also what is in your beneficiary designations. So let's say you have two kids. You have one kid listed as a beneficiary designation on your retirement account. You have another kid who's listed as a beneficiary designation on your mutual fund accounts. But in your will, you say, give everything to my spouse. Well, upon your death, your spouse does not get everything. Because things that have a beneficiary designation, mutual fund accounts, investment accounts, IRAs, 401ks, life insurance policy, annuities, Whatever is on the beneficiary designation form is where that asset will pass, regardless of what's in your will. A will only passes what is in your own name at the time of your death that doesn't otherwise have a beneficiary designation. So make sure as you're doing your estate planning, when you're doing your will or trust documents, that you review your beneficiary designations to make sure those things are going to the people who you want them to go to. Again, for more information, please visit our website, www.chesapeakewillsandtrust.com, or to download a free copy of my book, please visit mdestatebook.com. And keep checking our YouTube channels for more videos.